after suffering an injury that kept him off the field for the entire 2015 season, center Marquise Pouncey is gearing up for his return to the field. I sat down with him to discuss his progress thus far. What was that season like for you, not being able to do what you love? It was tough, man, but uh, I think at the same time, again, it was another humbling experience. And, uh, you know, when you go through all the things that I went through, you kind of like sit back and think that, Man, what you do, you really have to love it. And I really love football and I miss it so much. But I think the guys being around every Thursday, coming over to see me and just checking on me and stuff. And, you know, Ben and all the guys, all the core guys, you know, it kind of made me feel better about the whole situation. It made things a little bit easier. But, you know, I'm past that now and I'm ready to get on this season. Was it easier or harder being through an injury prior to that and having it, having football taken away from you and then it happening again? Well, the first time you just like, man, maybe that was just a fluke. But when it happens the second time, it's like, wow, like football really can be gone at any time. And, um, you know, going through all them surgeries, you just sit back and like, man, am I ever going to be able to play again? Is this ever going to get right? But after everything does, I mean, I honestly think that God puts, you know, tough things on tough people and see how it really they prevail through things. And I think that's the thing that happened to me. And, you know, that's the thing I believe in. In terms of the surgeries, was it you had one and then you learned you needed to have another one? Did you know what to expect or were you kind of learning it as it was happening? It just happened so fast. All of it was back to back. You know, it kept rolling on, but after everything went great, man, and after everything went great, and then Dr. Savage got me all the way right, man, and uh, Dr. Ponzer and his staff, and they just did a great job, and I appreciate them the most out of everything. But, you know, it was tough, but I'm on, I'm on to a new chapter now. 100%? 100%. What does it feel like to be back for OTA's mini camp and know that you're heading into training camp in the right direction? I think after you've been playing football so long, you know, whenever it comes to practice, you're still excited to get out there and get better. But now I, I miss that part about everything, going out there, getting with the guys, having that laugh in, putting in that true work. And, you know, just to be back out there, man, I, I go home now and I call my brother on the phone like, man, bro, like, I missed it. I, I really did. Like, I love this sport. And, you know, we sit back and have a small conversation, but it's, it's just great to be back out there with the guys. Probably weird to say you love football and shorts right now. Yeah, I know, right? Probably the first guy ever. <laughs> <laughs> you said you're 100% and watching you at practice, you go pretty hard yeah. for it being the off season. Is that how you always are? Or is that just because you you had a year off? No, no, no. I, I'm always 100%, but I think it's just a little bit more chip on my shoulder. Now I have to sit back and, you know, Watching other guys play your position, not being able to go out there and help the organization and the team you've been on your whole entire career is tough, but you know, being a strong person, you get through everything. You said a lot of the guys reached out to you last season when you weren't able to play. Did you watch all the games? All was that of, hard? Oh, or, yeah. Or did you feel like you needed to? No, I, I had to watch it. I was, you, know, you know, the guys come over, I give them a hard time if anyone messed up or when they <laughs> played great, I told them all the time. But, you know, it, it, that situation there, I just hope that it never happens again. I hope it has, never happens to anyone. What did you think about the group coming together, Cody stepping in, and them being able to accomplish what they did? They played really, really great, man. And then Beecham went down and Al stepped in. And, you know, it just shows that the type of coaching that we have here and the type of players that we have, they could just step in and play just as good. So it, it was great to see and, you know, I had a lot of fun watching. What got you through last year? I would say that the people that are closest to me, the people I had there at the time with me, spending the most time with me, and then the offensive line coming over every Thursday, and you know, just keeping small little motivational things because it gets to a point where it just gets redundant with all the surgery. You don't know if you're going to be able to get through it or not. But after everything went great, man, and them guys just kept me going strong and coming over, giving me the laughs when I needed it, man, and uh, I appreciated them a lot. Explain to us what Thursday nights at Pouncey's <laughs> house are all about. We hear about them often. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're awesome, man. The guys come over. We have a big dinner. You usually cater something, and. Uh, the doctor comes over, we get chiropractic and stretch and, you know, the laser treatment. We watch film and then we watch, try to watch the Thursday night football game. So, you know, just that bonding time, spend a little bit of, you know, QT time with the guys and, you know, get that extra part that you need in football. You can see the rest of my exclusive interview with Marquise Pouncey next Tuesday on Steelers.com.